Okay, guys and gals, welcome back to another one. As you can see, we're back at right ons. The water level has gone down, thank goodness. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Okay, guys and gals, so it's I'm not going to lie, it's been a couple of days uh, before I could come back here. But thank goodness the water's come down. Uh, I'm, it looks like I'm going to be able to get to those muskrat sets that I couldn't get in the last video. But next week, they're calling for five days of rain. So I'm not going to set anything. Um, what I'm going to try and do is there's some deep pockets out in this flood zone. And with that rain coming, the water is going to come back up. So I'm going to try and find a few spots out here to put a muskrat float. Um, and maybe some 330 sets. I'm not sure yet. Uh, they'll just be blind sets. But I'm afraid to set at the river again because with all that rain coming... I just don't want to lose animals or lose gear. So uh, as you can see, we're riding in style today. Uh, so I made this muskrat float up last night. So we're going to try and find a spot for that. Um, I wanted to bait it with apples like Tim and his trappers had, had suggested. And I didn't have any apples. And when I came through early this morning, there weren't any grocery stores open to go and buy an apple. So uh, we're going to try and find some carrots or something to bait that with. Um, but that being said, Let's get trap checking traps and uh, we'll come back. Okay guys, it looks like the traps are here. So that's good news. This one's fired off and nothing in it. So I'm guessing something floated down the river and down there. These were all underwater in the last check. That one's still set. So, toss it in. They never go off when you want them to. Set off. Nope, it's still it's still set. Sorry. Nope, it's set off. So I'm guessing stuff floating down the river was tripping the trap. This is okay. I mean, That one's still set. Not anymore. Okay, if you guys want to come for a walk, we'll do it quick because the next one is kind of here. <laughs> we made a catch. <sighs> How cool is that? Right on. <sighs> nice. Come on, there are you. Well, that's good. And he looks like he's okay. Nothing's been eaten at him. He probably hasn't got caught very long ago. So, my third muskrat. Nice. I didn't expect to see anything today except trip traps. So. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, stay tuned. We'll head down to the next couple of sets. The 330 I already pulled. I'm gonna try and get that foothold out. And then I have one more muskrat set, so stay tuned. Okay guys and gals, I wanted to show you this. because So I watched a couple of different videos, took some tips from a couple of different people. Um, but I made, I probably won't be able to get it apart right now because it's right here. I went and checked that other muskrat trap, there was nothing in it. And it's uh, minus five this morning, so it's frozen. But um, I got, <laughs> nothing's gonna work, all right. I got the idea from a couple of different videos. Um, Trapper J was one uh, with the half inch rods and that. This idea for this end and for the stopper at the other end, I got from Nate408. Now he did a much better job than I did, but if you don't have Nate408, check him out, please. Great guy, full of great information. Um, and then this lock, I just made this myself. I just kind of watched a whole bunch of videos and realized that there's really not much to them to get them to stop. So uh, 
um, I just made this lock and as you can see it bites pretty good of course that rods covered nice right now so but it slides up and down no problem and then this joiner in the middle uh, again in whatever video it was two videos ago I can't remember the name I wish I could remember the name of the channel I couldn't even find it again when I was looking um, but Hardcore Canuck mentions it mentions it in uh, not this the newest video but the video before that that where he saw it and that's where it got the idea from for that so this now if it wasn't frozen would break down so instead of being 10 feet it's five feet long and uh you know it just saves up so if you're on a bike or something instead of having 10 foot rods or even hanging out of the back of your truck they're now five feet long a lot easier to manage in the bush so anyway i thought i'd show you that real quick because i hadn't in the other videos I made up uh, a half a dozen of these, um, so I'm only putting one out right while well, not putting any out right now because I'm worried about that rain. But anyway, I'm babbling. We will turn you back on when we get back to the flooded area because I'm going to try and set a few sets in there so I've got some traps out. Uh, I really want to try that muskrat float I made, so we're gonna we're gonna set it up somewhere in there, and hopefully we'll catch stuff coming in and out of the flood zone. Uh, we know the muskrats are in there for sure we've seen them swimming around um so yeah so stay tuned okay ladies and gentlemen so the water's come down enough that i didn't really find any spots for the muskrat sets or a beaver set i didn't find any runs so i think what i'm going to do is we've got six days of rain coming um forecasted so basically the whole next week is rain. So I think I'm just going to kind of cut my losses at this point. I'll come back next weekend and I'll see if I can find, uh, see how much water we actually get with all the rain, figure out what I'm going to do and get some more sets out. So um, did come away with a, a really nice muskrat. So it's a good trip. And uh, if you've made it this far, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. To my longtime subscribers, thank you so much. To my new subscribers, thank you so much. Um, and remember, it's never a bad day to be more outdoors.